vlog. Sometimes they say you vlog. I feel like is general. You is very sponsored. Drew and I. Woo! <laughs> we are on the way to help my friend Christina set up for her Manifest That Trip workshop. If you don't know what the Manifest That Trip workshop is and you're from Long Island and you're into creating a better future for yourself, up-leveling, investing in your well-being, self-help, all that, being a better human, then you should check out her Instagram. I also have a video of doing Christina's makeup where we talk more in depth of her story, how she began these workshops, and a little bit of what this workshop, goodbye, what this workshop has in store for you. Okay, anyway, we just got to the location. Why is Park next to Christina? Is that good? Yeah, we're gonna help her set up. I have a few editing jobs that I have to get done today. Usually I do stay for the workshop, but I'm gonna just get some content for her. I'm gonna take some pictures, so let's do this. back home it's one o'clock now i didn't stay for today's workshop because well one i've been to quite a few of her workshops already but also today i have to get a lot of editing done and her workshops go until five i only have so much time before the deadlines of these so probably pop back in and take some photos of the attendees at the workshop oh I feel like I slept so wrong last night. My middle back is like so stiff. I really need to stretch. I might do some yoga today. It's been a while since I've done yoga. I just feel like today I need to send her. They started off the workshop with a meditation and I was taking pictures so I didn't participate in the meditation though I've done it before in the other workshops. And I was like, I need to take a second and just meditate it's a beautiful day today i want to just take time for myself that's what i love about january we are the fifth day into the new year and it's been such a blessing as far as taking time for myself and just taking a break from the fast pacedness that comes throughout the year with makeup and clients and all that you can get so caught up in it but just to have a little bit of downtime carlton what are you doing just to have a little bit of downtime for myself has been such so anyway, I got my laptop here. Carlton's having a ball in the other room right now. <laughs> he, he's definitely playing with something. I'm curious to see what. Let's see. Oh, what do you have here? You have a can of food that you didn't finish. This dog is such a bright light. He just like can entertain himself all day long. It's just amazing. He is so cute. I love you. Editing has been done for the day. Just fed Carlton. As you can hear him licking his bowl. I'm heading back to the workshop to help her pack everything up as it is a lot of stuff that she sets up. So yes, we're off to back to Christina. Drew's gonna be home soon to let this guy out. It's so freaking cute. Do you wanna just come with me? I don't know, should I take him with me? You wanna go for a ride with me? I actually could take him because the studio, you can see right out into the car. Let's decide. All right, I'm taking him. He's too cute not to take. Okie dokie, folks. The sun like literally went down as soon as I got in. It's not that much later. We are going home. You did so good, baby. He's so good. I kept popping out checking on him can i just say it was amazing walking in at the end of that workshop i am very 
empathetic so like I can feel tension in the room and I can feel uh, I can feel a lot of shit and I didn't understand that until probably the past year and how to harness it and like what that was I honestly thought that everyone could feel everybody's emotions and stuff like that but I learned like it's actually a term empath so all my empaths out there shout out to you with that being said like when I walked into the room at the end of the workshop you could just in feel in 1000 feet turn right this beautiful transformative energy it's almost like if you could picture what it feels like right, a rose Jordan blooming State, like what that feels like so anyway it was so magical I love I love seeing the people in my life succeed and do big things anywhere I can help I just love contributing to that if I can be there for my friends in any way and, and show my support in any way I, I want to do that I don't know sometimes that's just a good way to show that you support somebody to just be there for their workshops or go to their workshop I just think to me that's that's just a good way to show support that doesn't cost you anything. Sometimes you can't physically be somewhere, but even just like a good luck on your workshop text. I think it's important, just don't forget about the people who are around you, who are supporting you. It's good to give that energy exchange back to them in ways that you can, you know what I mean? And this is a willing, a willing uh, contribution. It's not a... A chore it's not an obligation it's not a tally in friendship it's just an honest love an unconditional love for your friends like if you have that with your friends don't hesitate to go the extra mile for them what are friends for if you want beautiful friends to do that for you make sure you're doing that for your friends now I'm just going on a rant <laughs> I'm making pea soup tonight. Can't freaking wait. I got the recipe from YouTube. She uses an instant pot and I do have an instant pot, but I'm kind of terrified of them. <laughs> Alyssa actually uses an instant pot. She's not afraid of it. I just don't know how to use it. So I might just go the traditional route today until I get a hold on how to actually use it. I know it can't be that hard. I'm just like not into learning something new right now. I'm just hungry and want to make something that's ready real fast so I'll see you when I get home yay happy dog <laughs> we just went for another walk it is pea soup time <laughs> you know what I just realized I bought dried peas because the recipe from YouTube she used the instant pot so I don't know if that's gonna make a difference that's something I have to google long story short I didn't prepare I'd rather make the pea soup I'll do that tomorrow and I'll soak the peas tonight so I just looked in my cabinet I have garbanzo beans this tikka masala simmer sauce I'm very semi homemade so I buy the sauce already done I've never tried this before I'm sure it's not as good as homemade I love Indian food so I'll definitely know the difference but sometimes you can throw more seasoning into these things and it'll amplify it so I'm just gonna simmer these together for like 10 minutes and then I have some naan and brown rice and spinach that I'm just gonna put in a little bowl with this and have some barnet squash soup on the side. A quick little tip too, if you want to start incorporating more vegetables that I like to do is bulk up traditional meals with it. So for example, if you had some kale, you could throw it in here. For today, I'm going to chop up some onion and garlic and put it in the pan with the chana masala and then we're gonna have spinach. Nothing wrong with some added nutrients, am I right? <laughs> not like onions but when I went full vegan I started ordering foods that I didn't like to train my taste buds because I knew I was gonna be limited on options I also grew up a really picky eater so I would never order anything with onions tomatoes raw veggies nothing like that in it I'd be very plain Jane so if that's you just know that you can train your taste buds don't be afraid to try new things I definitely was at first and I learned to really like a lot of really delicious foods that I was literally depriving myself from by not trying it. So onions is an example of that. I discovered I don't like raw onions. Cooked onions, they're not as potent. So, so I'm just browning the onions so that they get some color.
This looks delish. Oh babe, I forgot the naan. <laughs> Can you grab it? I burned the naan, it's fine. Butternut squash soup with toasted pumpkin seeds. Mmm. You're a chef. That's better than I remember it. Yesterday I made this dip. You just take Greek yogurt and you put garlic, onion, seasoning, dill, what else, lemon. And it makes the sauce, so I put it with this. And then I put a little bit of dried cranberries in here because our favorite Indian restaurant does that. <laughs> so we had them, let's try it. Okay. Oh my God, that's delicious. I'm so excited for this tomorrow. You know when stuff, like you first make it, like mac and cheese or pasta, and you let it sit in the fridge and it just absorbs all the flavors? Well, I'm so excited for that tomorrow. This is killer. I love that sauce. I'm gonna buy it again, mm. for sure. Not too spicy, not too sweet. This dip goes amazing with this. I'm having a good dinner. I think that's gonna be it for tonight. I hope you enjoy. If you try this recipe, let me know. Not that it's a recipe. If you try this semi homemade meal, let me know. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna go enjoy this, and I hope you have an amazing night! Bye.